could not remember the last time I filmed a Roberts London video. So I just checked the channel to see when the last one was. Almost a year to the day. It's been a while. Let's hope I can remember how to be a YouTuber. Okay guys, welcome back to London. It's Christmas time, time for giving. So I thought I'd give you a new Roberts London Christmas video. The plan for this evening, the real plan was just to pop back and wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy and prosperous new year. But while I'm at it, we'll take a look at some of them the most festive spots here in the centre of town, we're in Westminster. We we'll check out the this year's arguably the most symbolic Christmas tree here in town, maybe in the world. Trafalgar Square Christmas tree, and then we can head down to St James's, check out their Christmas tree. I haven't been here for weeks, so I'm presuming they've got one again this year. We'll find out. Head down to St James's, then maybe up to a Piccadilly Circus, check out the Regent Street. Christmas decorations. Possibly over to Covent Garden. See what's happening there. Weather, power permitting. Could go to the South Bank, check out Christmas market again. I'm presuming there is one. And then... Maybe back to where we're beginning, here to the pub. I'm definitely going to the pub. Whether we've got enough power to share it, we shall see. But first of all, Trafalgar Square. It's, the weather's not on our side. It's raining, it's windy, so I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. Yeah, let's, not, let's not start this vlog moaning about the weather. We're, it will never end. So welcome to a timeless journey through the festive heart of London, where history and celebration intertwine under the winter sky. Our adventure begins at the enchanting Christmas markets in front of the National Gallery, a wonderland of festive cheer and yuletide splendour. Each stall is aglow with the warmth of holiday spirit, offering handcrafted treasures and aromatic treats that tantalise the senses. The melody of Christmas tunes fills the air, setting a magical scene for our exploration. As we meander through the market, the anticipation builds for the main event of our journey, the Trafalgar Square Christmas Tree Lighting Ceremony. This majestic tree standing tall against the London skyline is steeped in history and symbolism. The tradition originating in 1947 is a heartfelt gesture from Oslo to London, a symbol of gratitude for Britain's support during World War II. Each year a magnificent tree is selected from the forests of Norway in a ceremony of friendship and unity, then transported across the sea to its honoured place in Trafalgar Square. The tree is more than a festive decoration, it's a beacon of enduring peace and goodwill. As the lights illuminate its branches, the tree transforms into a dazzling spectacle, casting a glow of joy and wonder over the square. This moment transcending time and place captures the true spirit of the season, a blend of celebration, reflection and hope. The radiant lights remind us of the resilient bonds forged in adversity and the enduring spirit of cooperation that continues to illuminate our world. So let's embrace the deeper meaning of this festive emblem. The Trafalgar Square Christmas tree stands not just as a hallmark of the holiday season, but as a testament to history, friendship and unity. It's a reminder to cherish the gift of peace and celebrate the ties that bind us, not just during the festive season, but throughout the years.
Okay, this is Trafalgar Square Christmas tree. Looks phenomenal. Even in the rain. Right, let's head to St. James's. Check out another Christmas tree that's popular for selfies. So we're headed to the heart of St. James's in London where the spirit of Christmas comes alive in its most splendid form. As we stroll from the iconic Trafalgar Square, our journey leads us to the enchanting Waterloo Place where a magnificent Christmas tree stands tall, adorned with shimmering lights and festive decorations. Nestled amidst the grandeur of St. James's architecture, the tree embodies the timeless charm of London during the holiday season. Here, amidst the historic landmarks and the bustling city life, we find a moment of tranquility and joy, a perfect reflection of the Christmas spirit that warms the hearts of all who visit. So, join us as we embrace the magic of Christmas in St. James's, capturing the essence of this wonderful season and cherishing the moments that make London truly special during the holidays. Okay, one of the most popular spots for a selfie every Christmas, St. James's Christmas tree. Whole group photo going on here. Professional, absolutely nailed that. We got the phone box, London icon, the open top double decker bus in the rain, and the Christmas tree. Smashed it. Phenomenal spot for a selfie. But now, let's head up to Piccadilly Circus and check out the Christmas lights. The main part, the main part of Regent Street shoppers will be familiar with. Piccadilly looks cool and behind me the statue here Piccadilly Circus has been covered up by these screens Moncler <laughs> I think <laughs> Right let's try and cross Piccadilly Circus it's where we keep all the tourists. Somewhere, they're all somewhere between here and Leicester Square. Mesmerized by the lights. It's a bit like Times Square in New York. Same game plan. Right, let's go and check out the, the lights here on the quadrangle of this section of Regent Street. Okay, the Regent Street Christmas lights look festive, cool as ever. Now let's head over to maybe Covent Garden, check out their Christmas decorations. It's normally the epitome of Victorian chintz and excess. And everyone loves it. If I'm visiting somewhere or someone in this part of town, I'd always make an effort for Cecil Court to be en route. It's one of my favourite streets to window shop for art and all the other cool stuff that pops up down here. So as we stroll down the captivating Cecil Court in the heart of London, our first stop is always the vibrant art displayed in the store windows. Each piece tells a story, a glimpse into the creative minds that thrive in this historic alley. Cecil Court is a hidden gem just moments away from Leicester Square. It is steeped in a rich tapestry of history and culture. Known affectionately as Booksellers Row, this quaint street has been a haven for book lovers and collectors for over a century. As we walk along the unchanged shop fronts transport us back in time, offering a rare continuity in a city that's constantly evolving. From its inception in the 17th century by the influential Cecil family, Cecil Court has witnessed the ebb and flow of London's cultural life. 
Famous residents, including the prodigious Mozart and literary giants like T.S. Eliot have graced this alley with their presence. In the early 20th century, Cecil Court, or Flicker Alley, became synonymous with the British film industry, hosting pioneers like Cecil Hepworth. Today, Cecil Court remains a cultural landmark, bustling with antiquarian bookshops, art galleries and eclectic stores. It's a place where the past and present converge, offering a sanctuary for artists, writers and dreamers. The future of Cecil Court looks bright as it continues to be a cherished spot for both Londoners and visitors from around the world. As our journey through this enchanting street concludes, we find ourselves outside the iconic Freed of London Ballet Shoe Store. Renowned for its exquisite craftsmanship, Freed has been fitting the feet of ballet dancers for generations. Standing here, we're reminded of the enduring legacy and vibrant spirit that Cecil Court embodies, a timeless treasure in the heart of London. Welcome to Covent Garden. I found all the tourists. <laughs> Looks phenomenal, incredibly popular. Before we do a little lap, a hyperlapse of all the Christmas decorations here, as you can see, it's popular. It's an understatement. I'll show you a little hidden gem. It's phenomenal if you're, especially if you're here for lunch and the weather's on your site, just here. So emerging from the bustling Covent Garden Piazza, a place pulsating with the vibrant energy of London, we find ourselves transitioning into a world of serene tranquility as we navigate through one of the busiest areas in this part of town known for its lively market street performers and myriad of shops and eateries, we're about to discover a hidden oasis of calm. Ahead of us lies St Paul's Church, affectionately known as the Actors' Church. A masterpiece of Inigo Jones completed in 1633, this church is a significant architectural landmark in the heart of London. With its rich history intertwined with the performing arts, it's been a beacon for the theatrical community since the 17th century. The Theatre Royal Drury Lane and the Royal Opera House both nearby have deep connections with this sacred space. As we step into the courtyard of St Paul's Church, the contrast is striking. The hustle and bustle of the piazza fade into a distant murmur, replaced by the soothing ambiance of this spiritual haven. This courtyard, enveloped by the majestic architecture of the church, offers a moment of peaceful reflection amidst the city's relentless pace. So, welcome to the courtyard of St Paul's Church. As you can see, a little oasis compared to the other side of the church. I'm not going to lie, in summer, you'll be hard pushed to find a spare seat. But you never know. Right now, they're selling Christmas cards in the church. So if you are here before Christmas, pop in, get your Christmas cards. St Paul's Church isn't just a place of worship and cultural heritage, it also plays a vital role in community service. Particularly noteworthy at this time of year is the church's foyer, where Cards for Good Causes sets up shop. This charity initiative sells a variety of cards with the proceeds going to numerous good causes. It's a heartwarming reminder of the spirit of giving and community engagement that the church embodies. So, St Paul's Church, set against the lively backdrop of Covent Garden, stands as a sanctuary of peace and a testament to London's rich cultural tapestry. So you should step out of here back to the mayhem. Like night and day. Right. Let's do a lap. So welcome to the magical Covent Garden at Christmas, where the festive spirit comes alive in the heart of London. As we wander through the bustling piazza, we're surrounded by the joy and wonder of the season. Before us stands the magnificent Covent Garden Christmas Market. Open from November to January, the air is filled with the sounds of holiday cheer and the aroma of seasonal treats. This market, with its unique luxury gifts and lively street performances, is a feast for the senses. Be mesmerised by the 60-foot Christmas tree, a sustainable and dazzling centrepiece adorned with over 30,000 twinkling lights. Okay, let's head into the old market buildings and check out this year's actual Christmas decorations inside. I think they're new. The last few years they've had disco balls and mistletoe. These look, these look new to me. Around us, festive dining and drinks abound, 
Experience the warmth of themed hot chocolate from marzipan to gingerbread, each week offering a new flavour to delight your taste buds. Take a moment to capture memories in the reconditioned 1884 Christmas sleigh, beautifully restored and open for festive photo opportunities. It's a glimpse into the past, hand painted and set against the backdrop of modern day Covent Garden. Listen to the harmonious sounds of the season as the London International Gospel Choir and the cast from Elf the Musical perform free in the piazza, bringing the joy of Christmas to life. As we stroll, the array of artisanal foods, luxury beauty products and unique ornaments offer a shopping experience like no other. Discover the perfect gifts for loved ones or treat yourself to something special. This is Covent Garden at Christmas, where every corner turned reveals another festive delight. From the winter warmer mulled wine festival to the Christmas sandwich festival, there's an abundance of joy and celebration in the air. So join us in this enchanting journey through Covent Garden, where the magic of Christmas comes alive, creating memories that will last a lifetime. So, Covent Garden's looking as festive as ever. Check it out if you're in town. Right, I think now we'll head to the South Bank. See if there's a Christmas market there this year. If not, there are some iconic London landmarks there. So it won't be a wasted journey. Okay, welcome to the South Bank. We have a Christmas market and it smells, the food smells phenomenal. Let's check it out. Right, moving magic and all that, I've actually timed this quite perfectly. <laughs> the, the way I edit this together, the Trafalgar Square Christmas tree from where I'm standing right now gets switched on in about 10 minutes. So I've got 10 minutes to get back to Trafalgar Square. And it's, it's raining. So, very briefly, market's phenomenal, smells great. Haven't got time to stop. London Eye, big band house of parliament, somewhere there, right. Hyperlapse ourselves back to Trafalgar Square and hope we get, the, you know, the. it's gonna be the feature of the film. If I miss it, the moment they do the night. Yeah, let's go. take this opportunity to ask you all to don't forget to smash like and subscribe maybe ring the bell
Right, do you want the good news or the bad news? Good news is we made it. Bad news is it's raining a bit. You've already seen all this. It's like the log section. Right, movie magic. Let's go to the pub. Right, time for the pub, the Shandos. This is how many people are in Trafalgar Square. Let's hope they're not all in the pub. top deck it smells like a tuna sandwich the whole place and um, it's rammed <laughs> rammed upstairs rammed downstairs we're in London I'm sure I can uh, go find a pub and a pint Right, my search for a beer has brought me all the way to Chinatown. Every pub I've been to or passed, there are people, in most cases, queuing up to get in and then standing outside in the rain drinking their beers. It's a Thursday night, Christmas party season is in full swing. The pubs are full. So, I'm not queuing up to get a beer and standing outside in the rain drinking it. I'm going to let you guys in. Pretty well kept secret. There aren't many here. There is a pretty cool bar, kind of on the edge of Chinatown and Soho. Now there's a bar here on the ground floor, on the, at the ground floor, the ground floor of the Curzon Cinema. There's an even cooler bar in the basement. Let's go and get a beer. So welcome to a hidden gem in the heart of London's vibrant Soho, the basement bar of the Curzon Cinema. As you descend down the stairs, you're transported into a world where classic cinema meets contemporary charm. This is where film lovers and night hours alike gather, creating a unique tapestry of culture and conversation. The ambiance here is a mix of nostalgia and modernity. Vintage movie posters adorn the walls, each telling a story of cinematic history. The soft lighting creates an intimate atmosphere perfect for a relaxed evening out. Our journey through this iconic space reveals an eclectic mix of patrons. From avid moviegoers to casual visitors, all drawn by the allure of this Soho staple. At the bar, the clink of glasses amid the murmur of discussions about movies blend into a symphony of social harmony. The menu, a curated section of fine wines, craft beers and artisanal cocktails and fine foods, caters to a diverse array of tastes. Each drink is a tribute to the art of mixology, served with a flair that adds to the overall experience. As we explore further, we find comfortable seating areas, ideal for groups and couples to unwind and revel in the bar's cosy embrace. The Curzon's Basement Bar isn't just a place for pre-movie drinks, it's a destination in itself, a haven for those seeking a slice of London's eclectic nightlife. This is more than just a bar, it's a celebration of film, art and the timeless joy of good company. So join us in embracing the spirit of Soho at Curzon Cinema Basement Bar, a place where every night is an occasion and every visit is an experience to remember. I found this place purely by chance. I've been here a few times to watch movies. The main reason we're down here is they serve great beer, good pizza, and 
there's never anyone down here except for right before a movie. And to call it a cinema is a bit of an exaggeration. It's more like a screening room. It is a great place to come and watch movies. But it's an even better place to come for a beer because there's never anyone here. Right, the bar in the basement of the Curzon was not a secret. I really wanted to have a shit. It's a bit of a hidden gem. Right on the edge of Soho and Chinatown. There's a very popular bar upstairs, but very few people. You've never been to the cinema here, and I've been a few times, you just don't know that bar's there. It's a pretty cool bar. They do pizza and snacks and, and beer. And uh, it fills up before a film and then empties out. Yeah. Every pub that I've walked past to get from Trafalgar Square to here, there's standing room only. It's hard to get in them. It's, it's a Thursday night, it's a standard Thursday night. Also, it's Christmas party season, so every pub's full up. There are people queuing. There were, when I went in there, it was raining. There were people queuing outside pubs to get a beer and stand outside in the rain. So, the curls on, on save me. Right, I guess it's time the Roberts London Christmas speech. I think I've lost track of, I've filmed this video out of, sequ out of sequence and I haven't done one for a year, so I've kind of lost the plot of where I am. Plus that, the beer was good. Um, so, the Christmas speech. I hope you get to spend the day with the ones you love. Hope you get plenty to eat and drink. Hope your favorite films on the TV. And I hope you've been good and Santa brings you something special from Robertson Co, my jewelry business. So, all that's left to do is for me to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a happy, healthy and prosperous new year. And hopefully, maybe next year there will be more Robertson London videos than there have been this year. I mean, one would uh, be more, wouldn't it? Yeah, hopefully I can do a few next year. I've got a lot of other projects. If you click the channel button, you can see. It's not that I'm not making videos, I'm just, my other projects that I'm working on are very time consuming. So, until next time. I don't know how I'm gonna edit this together, but hopefully it will come together I kind of I filmed two intros and one of them I wanted to go to St Martin's in the fields the cafe in the crypt because it's quite it's a it's probably one of the it's a great charity that helps support the vulnerable and the homeless I filmed it it was closed because I think the VIPs were down there from they were hiding out in the crypt preparing to turn on the lights of the, the Christmas tree. I kind of regret not including it. I just, I got there, it was closed, so I started again. But I should have just gone with it and mentioned that. It's more the charity aspect than going there for coffee, but it is, uh, again, a, a hidden gem, much like the Curzon Bar. <laughs> right, hopefully I'll see you soon. Not before Christmas, though. Toodles. I'm definitely going to the pub. Whether we've got enough power for you to come to the pub with me is a, another story. But first up, let's head to Science Says It All. London's hidden gem of a cafe. Get a coffee.